boss man wanted it full, and I think it is full. Ross currently hates me because he's gonna have to drive really, really slow to make sure he doesn't spill any of it. It's full though. So, good morning, guys. Uh, sounds like they're running the fans. So I'm assuming that wheat was pretty wet, but we are going to go make our rounds. I gotta put a pin in the combine for the hitch and then hook the combine up to the head wagon. We should be good to go after that. Uh, I do have to go make my rounds, go up to Robinson, look at the beans up there. As you can see though, these beans here look pretty good. They actually look really good, rather impressed. So yeah. Looking like a pretty good year so far. So now we're moving to the next field. Alex is getting in his combine. And then I'm gonna get in the cart and follow him. But first, before I go to start it, I'll come over here. I'm gonna check the oil in it. You boop. It's good. I'm gonna walk over here. I'm just gonna take a gander to hydraulic oil, see how good it is. Oh yeah, it is plenty full. So that's full. Oil's good. Now oh, yeah. see there's Augie. He's going too, so might as well get going. Cab. Start it up. Turn on my flashers and follow Alex. Come on, Alex. Yep, now I'm just gonna follow him to our next field and come back, probably eat lunch, and then go cut wheat. Day two, let's get this finished up. Last big portion, about 140 acres out here. It's hilly, fun ground to work. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this finished up today. It was all the way back there, all the way over there and all the way over there and then there's another spot back here. And then, huh. Come on, air conditioning, air conditioning, air conditioning. Yes. All right, well, let's get cut. So we're down here cutting again. Uh, I forgot about this hill back here and how steep it is. And I am in a half million dollar machine getting ready to go down. I'm rather scared. Ooh. Only thing you can do is send it. Set you guys right there and we'll just go for it. Woo! All that beeping is just the uh, auto steer. The header does not like this at all. As you can tell, it does not want to be at all. There's a fox den. tank three quarters full you can't see it in the hopper yet that's a good sign all right now i got it all kind of messed up here it just seems like it just doesn't want to go there we go all right we made it we made it barely but we made it Got 
Yeah, guys, we don't cut a lot of wheat, so this is rather difficult. Not used to it. Alright, now let's just hope that Ross is not directly behind me. So this wheat down here is a little bit wetter, actually no it's quite a bit wetter, but what's cutting at home was probably around 19, this is probably around 22, 23, which we have pretty well decided that we're going to go ahead and run through the dryers because uh, it's time to get it cut while we still can. It's better than worrying about it and having to wonder happen to wonder if uh, it's going to get a disease in it or something like that. The biggest disease that we're really worried about is uh, what we call alpha toxin and head rot. So we got to get them two things taken care of and then after that we should be fine. How are you guys doing today? As you guys can tell, today is day two of wheat harvest. You got, Alex, you got Alex right there and then Augie right Augie's about right there. And then Alex is this I'm here because Alex is almost full, so he gets down here. So hopefully, when he gets turned around and go back that way, we'll dump. Got my wonderful girlfriend with me today. But, yep, we're starting day two. Oh, come here, buddy. There's a deer right there, and I'd accidentally ran it over. It was laid down in the wheat. I don't know whether we should just kill it. Or what but its leg is destroyed come here buddy it's, it's okay oh Ugh. that just don't look like it feels good i don't know if i can get it closer i'll have to let ross do that oh i got a pretty tough stomach but that one made my stomach a little weak all right we got our portion of it here finished off it looks like there's a rainstorm coming hopefully that rainstorm don't kick us out of the fields oh man guys i might throw up Whew. we did end up putting that deer out of its misery uh there's no point in letting it walk around with three legs or it basically had two legs but yeah it, it wasn't in very good shape i tried to just catch it but that didn't work so we just ended up going ahead and taking care of it another way better way and then that way it's not running around out here with three legs for the rest of its life and it's miserable so yeah now we're back cutting wheat we're in the backfield here there's about 25 acres here so that's the one good thing about being a farmer, guys. You get to see everybody's backyards. You'd believe, you wouldn't believe it, but there's some people that put a lot more money in their backyards than what they do in their front yards. Trust me, I know. But, no, we really don't go behind that many people's houses. This is like one of our like five fields that we go behind somebody's house. And I don't like doing it because I feel like it's kind of creepy, but just part of farming, I guess. I don't know. You get to peek in on everybody's business. We're about to have our first cab wheat. I don't know if I should just let it happen or just, ah, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and unload. My finger slipped. Yep, we are uh, full, full, this, that's the full thing. Four out of four. Ross let me overfill. Yeah, we are uh, full. We are unloading currently. And then I still got two more strips to do over there. I was going to go ahead and do them, but uh, I need it unloaded. So 
Yeah, I had to get unloaded. That's a wrap for day two of uh, wheat harvest. We'll just finish it up. I'll just dump it a little bit, put it in this combine on me. And then now, the dog is filling up. Emptied out his combine on the trucks. That truck's full. He just filled that one off. So brother's gonna take it home. And then me and Augie, or me and Alex, sorry, we're gonna take that truck and the other truck behind it home. And then uh, we'll come back in the morning and get the auger cart and combine and stuff, I assume. But I may be wrong, but if we do something different, I will update you guys. But day two, success. We just got back down here this morning. Uh, we just finished up this field out here. It's like 100 and some acres out here. Got two more fields. One's like 15, 20, and then the other one's like 40. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to head back towards home. We'll fill up the combines, fill up the grain cart and check the oil check the coolant all that stuff get it ready to go again and then we'll go again so you guys might notice like combines were a lot more careful about taking care of them that's because i mean this sucker right here is basically a half million dollars and that sucker over there is a half million dollars they're really expensive they're not cheap so we do our best to take care of them and uh we try to make sure that they're gonna last us a while if we need them to, so. But these combines, the uh, motors on them are not cheap either. Like, they are really, really expensive, so. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get going here in a minute. Augie's getting hooked up now. Got my ladder folded in. See, you just kinda spin and slide. This knob on top, you spin it. You can slide it over. Turn on my flashers and we'll get going. Uh, stick a time lapse up here somewhere, I think. So.
So we just cut one field. Uh, we're on our way to the next one. The next one, we need some seed wheat, so we're gonna have to wait on it to dry out a little bit longer, we think. Uh, we need it to be down to about 16 or 17, and we think that it's gonna be about 19, 20. So if we have another couple of good days, good, good dry days, good sunny days, it'll dry out pretty quick. But uh, yeah, that's this field here that we gotta wait on a little bit give some time to dry out this is one of our neighbors here he's irrigating and planting at the same time that's that's how you know it's dry when you have to irrigate and plant at the same time so yeah I'm gonna try and find the best place possible here to uh, unhook my head and put it on the front of my combine the best way to do that's gonna be to run over some corn I'd say so yeah we're gonna do our best to not run over corn so yeah so we ended up having to shut down for the day. Uh, the wheat's too wet, and like I was saying, we need seed wheat. So it has to be able to be stored in the bin. We can't dry it, so we gotta wait, sadly. Cause I mean, look at them monsters. It's pretty cool. But yeah, we gotta wait a little while to cut the rest of this field here. There's about 40 acres here, so yeah. Kinda not in a very good mood either because the air conditioner in my truck's done like it won't work anymore so i'm going to uh take it into knox county tire here in vincennes hopefully they'll get me fixed up and get me ro rolling again but my air conditioner i don't even know what to do about it anymore i'm over it i'm tired of messing with it i've tried a couple different things i'll let i'll let somebody else that knows what they're doing do it i'm done with it it's a lot easier <laughs> 